Are you afraid of anything happening? Same question. I'm not going to teach. I go home. I don't know. What do you see happening? What do you think in your future? Why are you always reading and asking? I don't understand what you're trying to say. I don't know. How many guys are going to be able to do Oh, there we go. Well, you also used to be afraid sometimes to go out in the day room and be with other people. Oh, yeah, I used to be terrified. Terrified that they'd hurt I, you? I, I used to be afraid to open my eyes in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I used to be afraid to get out of bed. And then from out of bed to get dressed to wash and then to, to you know, go in the day room and go out to, you know. What were you afraid of? Were people going to hurt you? I don't know. I just couldn't do it. I just... I don't know. Well, listen, if you could think about 10 years from now, what would you like to be doing 10 years from now? I don't know. You don't have any particular ideas or thoughts? Probably working in a maid in a nursing home. Cleaning, huh? maybe. I don't know. Is that something you might like to do? Yeah. Maid service. I'm proud that I got my driver's license. And on top of that, I need a car to get to work. Because before I had my driver's license, I was depending on my family to bring me back and forth to work. Which that is a little bit of inconvenience because I work at night and somebody has to bring me, you know, in the evening to work and they have to get up early, five o'clock to pick me up. And that that they helped out a whole lot, but you know, I c I can't do that forever, be dependent on, you know, somebody bring me back and forth to work. Well the apartment gives you a sense of independence that you could, you know, function on your own without being dependent on anybody. Like your food shopping and your cook, you keep the apartment clean. Because when I feel good, I, I, I don't, you know, I shouldn't say complain. Because it's not good to complain, really. I mean, you just got to, you know, live with it until it changes, you know. Because if, if you complain, complain about something, you change it, right? And if you can't change how you feel, but I think the medicine has helped me feel good, which is a good change from feeling bad. <laughs> and why do you think you're a god? Because there was a time when, when I was at to myself was a piece of rock and a piece of straw and a little tiny pin. Mm -hmm. And I stretched it all out and I just went like that, you know, mm -hmm. and made a needle and I poked myself. Why did you poke yourself? Because I wanted to get the devil out of me because I didn't want to be possessed. I didn't want people to think I was possessed, you know. People get into the future. I'm not really into the future. See, they, they gave me the future and I, and I destroyed the future, you know. I, I hate the future because I'll never be successful in the future, you know. I mean, my eyes were bulged, and I had the future in my head, you know, and I just said no, you know, I said no. Well, I started having problems really bad when I was about 16, but I was afraid to say anything to people because I was scared. I didn't, I thought it was normal to hear voices, so I never asked anybody if it was or if it wasn't, so... I suffered a lot before I get into the hospital. I used to see things a lot. I used to see dragons, and different butterflies, everything. It was weird. My mom even says I look 100%, like, a lot better. When I was first in the hospital, I didn't, I wasn't, a lot, I was confused a lot. The confusion goes away, I guess, I don't know. It's if you get the right medicine. I want to get a full-time job, and I want to get a driver's license and a car and stuff, you know, my own place, you know, different friends, I guess I would call it, just get my own place and get some different friends. One thing, I'd like you to tell me about your physical health. How has your physical health been over the last six or seven days?
feeling. Maybe it's emotional. Maybe something in me is finally clicking. Maybe the gears are, are working again. And maybe I'm feeling better. Maybe I just don't, don't need to lie in bed as much as I used to. And I feel really good about that. I'm glad. Because then there's more time for reading or doing this or doing, you know, playing tennis, whatever you want to do. It's, it's, you know, it's more fun. It's better for you. Whatever. I enjoy it. And I feel better about that little part of my life, at least. All dreams aside, it would be nice if I could be an executive secretary in the city someday and, and have a husband and have a child. I would really like that. Would make me very happy if I could have that. Have you ever had any no. unusual, uh, other unusual experiences like hearing things? Do you ever hear yeah. voices? No, no, if I see things. See things? I see things when I hear things. When was the last time you saw it? Last night I turned my head, I see like a body on bed or something for a second. You saw a body in the bed? Yeah, a body on the bed, no one's there for a second. They turn and in, in your bed or the bed? And in the other bed. I look and I see a body in the bed, I read him in the squad, you know, I turn my head and I flip him, you know. What kind of a body? A male body or a female body? A male body, I don't know. And how long did that go on? A minute and a half or so. A minute and a half and yeah. then it disappeared? Or yeah, exactly. You turned your head and you looked back? Yeah, yeah. I see. Exactly. Any other strange experiences that you've had uh, that you find it difficult to explain? I guess you can see birds outside going by. I feel they're like trying to tell me something. You know, like talking, making questions. Somehow, like, these birds are trying to tell me something. You mean by the way they're flying? By the way they're flying and the way they sit on the wire. And the way, the they, way they sit on the wire, right. the telephone wire. Right, exactly. Two birds, one here, one there. And they're trying to communicate something. Right, like, uh, like um, something's bothering me. I'll ask a question or something. And it'll somehow tell me. I have not been in the hospital since I've been taking clozapine at all. I'm a different person. Could you tell I mean, me now you're a different person? Yeah, because I'm a reality now. I mean... You know, even on the Haggle days and Stelzine days, I was in another world. Now I'm just back in reality. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't stare into space anymore. I don't... I, I get paranoid once in a while, but I realize the things I get paranoid are ridiculous. My eating's back to normal. I drive a car now. I have my own apartment now. I'm living a normal life now. I, you know, I'm not, you know, 100% there. But I am normal now.